My name is Nicholas Basso. I was born and I live in New York City and the Upper East Side. You could say I have or once thought I had a pretty normal life. I go to school, I get a great education, I participate in running track, theater, and other activities. I have friends that I hang out with that have a similar life. I am lucky enough to have parents that have given me everything I need and more. I have technology at my fingertips. A phone, game consoles, just tons of stuff to keep me busy. I once thought this, that this is how everybody lives. I have been lucky enough to travel to many different places with my parents. In the summertime, I visited my family in Ecuador, but it was my last visit that changed me. I came to realize that many people there, around the world, and even in the United States, don't have the kind of resources that I do. It all happened on a Sunday. I was going to watch a soccer game. I saw a kid on the streets selling candy with his dad. He looked about my age. He had brown hair. I remember looking into his eyes and thinking, why does the world have to be that way? But I realized thinking isn't enough. It is up to us to make the connection. We have to act. All of a sudden, I start noticing more and more people selling things on the streets. Families with the kids working and pitching in, helping their parents sell candy, water, fruit, and other things. I also realized that some of these families in these countries can't afford to buy cloves or even foods. They rely on other, uh, on other people's generosity to survive. They can't even afford to send their kids to school. And I thought, as a kid, what can I do to help? When I returned to New York, I noticed that some of us live in a bubble and it is keeping us from seeing what's going on around us in the world. I think what we need to do is to burst that bubble and open our eyes to the many issues that are important. We should all think of the problems that make life difficult for others, such as war, poverty, pollution, lack of health care, and use our voices to, make, to take action and make change. So, how can kids do this? Donating clothes, money, and food helps a lot, but we need to do more. We need to give people the opportunity by providing basic resources such as education, better living conditions, and other basic things we take for granted and that others don't have. Something as simple as clean water. Here's a shocker. We love technology. <laughs> yeah. We can use it not only for playing games, it helps us connect with each other. And by connecting, we can learn more about the world without having to travel. And it helps us share ideas with others faster so we can find solutions and together make the world better. For example, 15-year-old Greta Thunberg has drawn a lot of attention protesting the climate crisis. But she, but she didn't start that way. Hardly a year ago, as a 15-year-old, she had the courage to sit in front of, front of Parliament by herself next to a sign. Her one voice started a ripple effect connecting hundreds of thousands around the world. In September of this year, she spoke at the UN. She has also been criticized and attacked, but that has not stopped her from believing in her cause, continuing in her work, and connecting so many around the world. Knowing one idea and voice is good, but when we connect together, we can be great. Some of us might not think we're up to that type of challenge, but we can be inspired by it and think of other ways we can make a difference. If we want to make a change, we have to act. One, we could start by talking to a friend about a cause we have in mind. Two, we can make our voices heard by joining a march. And three, we can participate in fundraisers or organize one. Probably the simplest and most powerful action is using our social media as the tool it was meant to be, to connect, to inspire, to empower. We can all contribute, even a little bit to make a change. No effort is too small. No idea is too big. We can't let anyone discourage us 
from doing what we believe is right. We have a voice. We must use it and keep believing that what we do will make the world a better place for everyone. Thank you.